Have you ever wondered why does your chow chow lick you? Well, we have the answer. Welcome back to the Fenrir Chow Chow Show. My name's Joe and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. We are dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Chow Chow and then how to become a high level canine leader so you can raise your very own. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. Welcome to the first in our FAQ series here on the Fenrir Chow Chow Show, where we're gonna be talking all things Chow Chow and answering loads of different questions about them. And the first of those is why does your Chow Chow lick you? So Will's gonna be answering this question today and I'm gonna hand over to him. Now, dogs have many ways to show us their affection, and one of them is by licking. Some dogs hardly ever lick their owners or anyone else, but others can be quite excessive in their display of kisses to everyone they meet. And in today's video, we will discuss why your dog licks you. And the first reason is that canine kisses are signs of affection. Most dogs absolutely love to lick their owners. It is their way of showing their affection. After all, dogs do not have hands or arms that they can hug or pet you as effectively as you can hug and pet them, even though some dogs do try to do so. Think about it this way. You have many things going on in your life, your job, your hobbies, your family, your friends, and so forth. But your dog does not have all of those things. To them, you are everything. You provide them with food, water, shelter, affection, leadership, guidance, and direction. Therefore, it is only natural for them to show you their fondness. And if you have more than one dog at home, you probably have seen them licking each other quite a bit as well. Again, this is completely natural. As puppies experience licking from the moment they are born into this world, mother dogs lick their puppies and vice versa. A canine mother does lick her puppies to help them go to the toilet when they are very young, but also a licking is used by the mothers to clean her puppies and to reward desirable behavior. The next reason is that dogs lick to communicate. If you have ever watched the members of a wolf pack in particular interact with one another, you will have noticed they do quite often lick each other's muzzles. The same applies to packs of wild dogs. Lower ranking wolves or dogs display this behavior towards their leaders to either confirm their inferior position in the pack or to pacify the higher ranking animals. In the wild, canine puppies lick their mother's face when they are hungry, especially after their mum has been out hunting. This licking is a signal for the mother to regurgitate some pre-digested meat for her puppies. Now, in similar ways, our domesticated dogs aim for licking our face. By the way, this is one of the main reasons dogs jump up on people. They want to reach our face, but as we are much taller than them, they have to make a severe effort of jumping up to get there. And whilst our dogs surely would not expect us to regurgitate food for them, they may lick our face, hands, or other body parts they can reach to pacify us and to acknowledge our position as their leaders. One good example for this is if your dog gently licks you right after after you've had to give them a verbal correction for one thing or another. This is your dog's way to kiss and make up. It seems like we're anthropomorphizing our dog by giving them human expressions, but that is exactly what's happening. Now, maybe an obvious reason in the third spot is that dogs lick for the taste experience. Some dogs just like to lick people because they taste nice. Whilst most of them lick their owners to show affection or to communicate like we've just discussed, others seem to enjoy the salty taste of their favourite human skin. Hey guys, just a really quick message. I just wanted to let you know, if you didn't know already, that my first published book is officially out and available now. It's called Raising and Training Perfect Puppies, The Missing Secret of Success, where I boil down all of my skill set, experience and knowledge into the pages of this book to help set you up for huge amounts of success with your puppy. If you are are interested there'll be links in the description box below it's available worldwide on amazon i really hope you find it as valuable as i'm sure that you will but until then i'll let you get back to the video you were just enjoying sometimes the scent of body lotions or hand creams can invite a dog's licking of course you would not want to let them lick lotions or creams full of chemicals from your skin and if in doubt use something like a pure organic coconut fat Coconut fat is said to be very healthy for dogs and for humans. Reason number four is that your dog simply wants some attention. Dogs are very intelligent pets who tend to use everything at their disposal to get their owner's attention, including their tongue if need be. And you might have been unwittingly encouraging excessive licking all along. Say for example, your dog comes over and licks you. What do you do? You 
snap out of whatever it is you were doing and you give them some fuss, maybe a few words, maybe even a treat. If so, you have been conditioning them to expect good things once they shower you with licks and kisses. Therefore, don't be surprised when your dog wants to do more licks and kisses because they think it will get them more positive things. Reason number five is that your dog uses licking for training purposes. Now, let me explain. It is our aim to be our dog's calm, consistent canine leaders. And especially with very young puppies, it feels easy and fulfilling to be the one in charge. You may think you are in charge when in fact you are being subtly manipulated by your dog. In other words, they are training you. We must always remember that dogs are extremely intelligent beings, even at a young age. Oftentimes they are the ones who decide what happens in our household and when. Little by little, your dog might be taking that treasured leadership away from you, and they might be so subtle about it that you will have no idea what's going on. For example, have you ever been busy with something and your dog's excessive licking has made you stop to give them some attention like we just discussed? Maybe this happens in the morning. Many people allow their dogs to sleep in their bedroom and sometimes even on the bed with them. And in the morning, they wake to sweet little kisses being placed on their face by their dog. What an amazing to wake up, some people think. Well, ask yourself what happens once that adorable habit has been formed. All too often, owners at least give the dog some fuss. In the best of examples, that subtly conditioned owner will get up after a few licks to avoid having their face covered with extensive slobbery kisses. Usually it takes dogs only a few training sessions to have their owners at that point where the dog has you trained of when they want you to get up and out of bed and to do so all they have to do is give you kisses. So that kind of wraps up our discussion of why your dog likes to lick you. We saw how licking is a behavior that has its firm place in nature especially among packs of wolves and wild dogs but contrary to wild canines our domesticated dogs have also learned to use use licking as a training tool for their humans, quite often motivating us to give them attention and fuss by giving us licks and kisses. So as always, this was a fun video, a bit of education and information about canine psychology and communication, but also take it as a, a subtle warning of making sure that you are always in control of the interaction with your dog and your dog isn't in control of you.